I'm going to show you how you can drive your SEO traffic higher for 25 cents. This is the 25 cent AI SEO stack that's going to give you a massive advantage. And you got to strike while the iron is hot right now because other people are eventually going to catch up. You don't want to let that happen. Let's get into it. So on my screen, you can see Cursor. So Cursor is a coding assistant that you can use and you don't have to be technical. I'm certainly not technical. I have gotten some help to set it up and I'm going to show you how I went about doing that. If you stay till the end, non-technical people, you can figure this out. You are going to drive insanely more leverage. You're going to be 10 X the person that you are, maybe even hundred X the person that you are. And the cool thing is this is the worst that'll ever be. So the time to jump in is right now. So I have an SEO revenue optimizer pulled up on my screen. This is a sub agent that, that I have, and you can see the prompt over here is you're an elite SEO revenue optimization specialist with deep expertise in search console analysis, conversion rate optimization, and programmatic SEO strategies. We know that SEO is changing. We know that website traffic is going down, but there are some strategies that work really well. So bottom of the funnel type content, those are the transactional keywords that we want to attack. We should go after those more instead of the informational content. Stuff is changing rapidly, right? ChatGPT recently just, they, they maybe they're, they're abandoning their ability to search and they're just going to, you know, default to ground their data on Google and Bing data, which means SEO might come back. But because this stuff is changing so rapidly, this prompt, I can adjust at any given time with new information that's coming out in real time. So I can train this employee, right? This SU employee to get better with me in real time. I don't need to wait. I can just continue to inject information into it. And you can see some of the core responsibilities in here. Search console data mining, title and meta description optimization, cannibalization detection and resolution, programmatic page generation. These are all things that are helpful to help you generate more traffic, more website traffic. Operational framework. Okay, you're going to look at, you're going to identify pages with more than a thousand impressions, but less than 2% CTR. Calculate potential traffic gain if CTR match position average. And you're going to analyze top performing competitors for target keyword. Now you're looking at this, you're like, oh my God, Eric, you must be so good at prompting. Not the case. If you want to know how to prompt, I'm going to give you some, some alpha over here. You install Claude code and I just type in agents over here and I can set up a new agent. These are all the agents I set up. If I want to create a new one, I can just do this, right? And I can say, look, look at this little prompt over here. Um, I want to help me create an expert software engineer that reviews my code base to make sure everything is running on time. So. I just dictate that out. I'm using a tool called Super Whisper, and it, now it's generating the sub agent. And it takes a couple minutes to get this going. You take a look at the output, you maybe adjust the prompt a little bit, boom, you're good to go. Not hard to do, okay? So I'm gonna leave this alone because that's not what we're trying to do right now. So I'm gonna terminate this part. But again, I am not technical. I'm gonna show you how you can set this up in a little bit. This is the agent itself, okay? This is the prompt, but this is the output over here. So title meta optimization, AI marketing agency page, enterprise SEO services page. These are all good keywords to go after. Zero difficulty page uh, creation, uh, cannibalization resolution, all these things over here. Um, if, we, if we're going for this AI marketing agency keyword target 8.5 CTR, my agency is single grain. So that, that's, these are keywords that make a lot of sense for me, right? Um, and then I can say, okay, well, I have... I have, I'm connected with Google search console, Google analytics over here. I also have a WordPress MCP here where I can draft a post. So I might just say draft the, the automated personalization page, um, you know, based on the page template over here, which is one of our templates. And then I can let it go. The WordPress MCP isn't on right now. I can, I can have a draft. I can have it, um, push a draft over in, into the, um, into my WordPress and then people can review it, but I'm just going to have this run right now. And it's going to draft this, um, automated personalization page and it's, it's working on it. And so I'll let that work. But when I say 25 cent SEO, just running this process over here, I actually prompted this and it basically calculated this out to be when I generate a new page, 13 cents to do that. That's where that number comes from. The cost of these tokens are going to continue to come down over time. And that's going to be good for you and me because we're going to be wanting to generate more and more stuff. You and me, you watching this right now, I know you're, you're infinitely impatient just as I am. And um, we're going to let this thing work. But the key thing is I'm able to spin up these employees so quickly on the SEO side, I can have this revenue optimizer. Good. It's focused. Not, it's not just an SEO specialist. It's focused on revenue. That is huge because a lot of people, when you try to hire them off the streets, they're, they're not necessarily focused on it. They, they just want to make a living, you know, and, and that's fine. I get it. But you also have a job that you want to do as well. Okay. So we can't talk about SEO without talking about YouTube. So YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. I had this ideation, uh, sub agent over here that will look at similar pages 
that I, maybe I'm competing with. Like my podcast co-host, Neil, has a, has a YouTube channel, Alex Ramosi, Gary Vaynerchuk, Wes uh, McDowell, and their, their channels are, are, are big, right? And so I, I, I like to see what outliers they have, and I, wanna, I want ideas for, for my channel. I want different packaging ideas for my channel, and this will help me move a lot faster in terms of ideation because oftentimes on YouTube, it's the idea that matters a lot more than whatever else that you're talking about in the video. So, so I, might, I might make a 30 minute or one hour video, but if the idea itself isn't good enough, it's not going to get views, right? And so there's a certain balance that I have to look at. Um, and, and oftentimes just looking at how other people are doing it, that's going to help drive, um, you know, better return on investment ultimately. Now, when we talk about, um, at, I have this SEO conversion optimizer over here. So what it does is it'll take a look at ranking strength assessment, trend and opportunity detection, strategic recommendations. It'll also open up Ahrefs, which is an SEO tool. There's an MCP that we pull from that as well. Um, and then it came up with a, a couple high level things over here. So it's like, okay, current conversion performance analysis, top converting pages, homepage converts the best, AI focused messaging performs the strongest, um, paper lead agents three, uh, marketing plan. These, these are all things I, I can ask it to, to, to dig in a little more there, right? Um, high priority conversion, uh, opportunities, AI marketing agency cluster. So it's, it's telling me I should make a cluster of these pages. Primary target would be AI marketing uh, agency and then expand AI messaging across all service pages, create AI, dedicated AI marketing services landing page. So that's, that's not a bad, that's not a bad suggestion. And you can see the, the volume here. I can even ask it because it's hooked in with Ahrefs. I can, I can ask it to, sure, show me the keyword difficulty, which is pulled from Ahrefs, but show me where it's trending over time. If a keyword's trending upwards and the keyword difficulty is not crazy, I know I should probably go after it and probably make a lot of different variations. And so this is where I have a lot of threads that I can pull on um, and, and continue to push, right? And then here it's, it's recommending um, maybe a plan of action. And so I can ask any question I want. Um, so, you know, for the AI marketing agency cluster, give me a more detailed plan in terms of keywords that I should be going after. And then the other thing over here is these are all the MCPs that I'm connected to. You can see Ahrefs is turned off right now. So I'm going to actually turn Ahrefs back on and it's going to take a while to load because Ahrefs has a lot of different tools in it. You don't want too many MCP tools running. So MCP is basically a connector to the the products or services that you might be paying for and it'll hook in with something like a cursor. Again, you don't need to be technical and I'll, I'll give you some of the sauce right now. If, if you want to learn how to set this up, it, it's, it's, you don't even need to learn how to set up. Just go to Upwork, go to any of these places where you can hire developers and just hire someone and pay them hourly to set this up for you. Open up one of your video meetings and then screen share with them, give them remote control. I use Zoom for that. And so, so that's that. In this situation over here, so Ahrefs is turned on, but I'm, I'm not seeing that the tools are turned on. Use the Ahrefs MCP to show me what keywords are trending upwards. Um, but are also high intent and low keyword difficulty. Okay. So we'll see if this actually works and you know, I might have to turn back on and off again. Okay. So now it's enabled. Um, so let's do this and then we'll see what happens. Okay. So now, now it's working. So you, you can see how much easier it is for me to call these things. I can call on my HubSpot. I can call my Google search calls on my Google analytics and now it's working. So while I let it work, um, I have this AB testing one as well. So, in this case, it's come up with a couple of A-B testing ideas. So mobile optimization, homepage testing, homepage generates 119 conversions a month, expected lift 15 to 25% improvement, business impact 80, 18 to 30 additional consultations per month. Okay. If we look at some of the tests here, okay, let's, let's look at the, the, the best test. So if we optimize the consultation form for mobile devices with, with larger touch targets, simplified fields and mobile first uh, design, mobile conversion rate will increase by 40 to 60% because mobile users currently have 5X lower conversion rate than desktop. Okay, so impact confidence E. So it actually, I didn't even ask it to give me an ice. I don't think I did, um, but it did. And it's a, it's an eight over here on average. GA4 only shows 13% versus 85% conversions on desktop. And then homepage CTA, if we test multiple uh, consultation CTAs with different value propositions, we can generate um, conversion will increase by 15, 25%. These are not bad. And I can continue to optimize this, this uh, AB test orchestrator over here. Cause by the way, conversion rate optimization to me and SEO kind of go hand in hand. And so when I talk about 25 cent SEO, these, these ideas that you're getting right now, um, you're not having to pay a world-class expert. So this is good. And eventually I can, I can give, I can feed it more of my, my conversion data. I can ask it to score each idea based on revenue impact to or estimated revenue impact. Um, and I can continue to refine this and then Maybe what happens is you eventually hire more strong, stronger SEOs than you on the team or stronger CROs and, and they can continue to refine these problems. But, and then eventually they're going to be using this and eventually you're, you're training your entire team on this. So this is running right now and let's see what happened. Okay. 
So implementation roadmap. Um, so let's look at the tier one opportunities over here. So tier one, high priority keywords, implement first. AI agency, 2400, keyword difficulty, CPC, uh, highest volume, reasonable trending upward, okay? Commercial, high conversion potential, create comprehensive AI agency services pages. AI marketing consultant seems good. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's trending up. Business consultant, def, very, diff, very low difficulty, okay? Uh, content marketing, gold mines, free, uh, best free AI tools for digital marketing. We actually do pretty well with our AI tools. Top AI marketing com company. So going through different permutations of this um, could be different service levels or it can be uh, different locations. So you can have a lot of programmatic pages for these AI tools for B2B marketing. That's a little more general. We can, we can but there, there's a lot of ideas from that. Service expansion, AI content agencies, AI tools for marketing tools for small businesses. Market AI marketing case studies would be another big one. So the, the point of me showing you this is that one, I'm trying to open you up into the world of cursor, Claude Code, MCPs. And I just think at least for the near future, this is how we're going to be working and we're going to be multi-tabling. We're going to be multi-tabbing um, all these different employees and calling on them. And then we're going to have, have train our, our other team members to, to take advantage of this. And then eventually, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll get to a world far, far down the road where this, this stuff can just read our minds and, and, you know, it's just running our businesses for us. Um, so, so that's what it is, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I got more on this coming. Let me know in the comments, what else you'd like to learn about, and I will see you in the next one.